Welcome so much tonight for being here. We thank you very, very much for watching. Come out in Jesus' name. We're excited about what the Lord is about to do with this first ever live deliverance event right here in all of these theaters all over the United States of America. But I want to say something that many of you need to understand before we get into renunciations and forgiveness. The Bible says we submit to God, we resist the devil. And he flees from us. That's the essence of deliverance ministry. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. But I want to say something to many of you. What some of you need right now, what some of you need is to respond to that conviction of your heart right now. Knowing that what you really need is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And just right now, before I have everyone stand, and before we get involved in mass deliverance and calling out evil spirits, some of you need to call on the Holy Spirit to the name of Jesus so that you, for the first time in your life, can be born again. You can have your sins forgiven, be washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, never again worrying when you pillow your head that if you ever slip off into eternity that you're going to have to go to hell because the good news about hell is you ain't got to go because Jesus paid your price. He that knew no sin became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus did not say he was one of many ways to the kingdom. He said he was the one and only way to the kingdom. And if you, sir, you, ma'am, you, young person, right now, will simply repent and believe the gospel, you can be saved by the grace of God. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Red, yellow, black, and white, it makes no difference where you've been, what you've done in your life. It makes no difference what journey or path you have been on. Tonight is your encounter with Jesus Christ. Right where you are in your seat. Listen, I want you to know that a prayer didn't die for you, but a person did. You can pray this a thousand different ways. You believe in your heart. You confess with your mouth. But I want you to say something to God like this. Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. And I know for my sin, I deserve hell and judgment. But I believe tonight that Jesus took my punishment. And the best I know how, I place my faith in Jesus Christ and Him alone for the forgiveness of my sins. I repent. Come into my life. Change me. And from this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will serve you without being ashamed. And without apology, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Right. I hope many of you prayed that. I hope many of you believe that because I'm telling you, Jesus Christ died for you. He loves you so very much. And he wants to make sure that your sins are forgiven. He's prepared a place for you in heaven. If you're going to participate tonight in all of these theaters around the nation, I'm not going to force you. Nobody's going to twist your arm behind your back. But if you want freedom tonight, if you want to know that there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood and through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you want to experience that authority, I'm asking you right now, all over every one of these theaters, rise from your seats right now to your feet. Rise to your feet. I'm going to have you repeat a few things now. This is just like a Sunday night every week here at Global Vision Bible Church in Mount Juliet. But obviously we can't go two hours. We have a very limited time frame tonight. There are workers and preachers and deliverance ministers and men and women over theaters everywhere. Probably even right where you are. But if there's not one there, let me tell you something. Jesus is going to set you free right now in the next few months. Just believe it by faith. Jesus will deliver the desperate. He will deliver you from your enemies, but he will not deliver you from your friends. Tonight, you have to hate that addiction. You have to hate that hurt, that heaviness. You have to hate all of those things that are keeping you in bondage, fear, and torment tonight. So as you're standing to your feet, I'm just going to have you renounce a few things. We're going to forgive some people. We're going to dig deep for the next few moments. Many of you, if not all of you tonight that participate, are going to be radically set free because there is power and authority in the name of Jesus. Good and strong, wherever you're at, let the devils hear it. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Don't be ashamed. I want you to say this. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every evil spirit. I come against every evil spirit. That is in resistance to the deliverance ministry. That is in resistance to the deliverance ministry. I command them to be bound tonight. I command them to be bound tonight. And rendered powerless. And rendered powerless. Any evil spirit. 
trying to hinder my freedom in Christ, must obey the authority of the name of Jesus and leave me immediately. Satan, I resist you in Jesus' name. And I'm closing any doors tonight which I or my ancestors may have opened to you. I renounce you, Satan, and all of your demons. I declare before God that you are my enemy. I'm now claiming deliverance from any and all evil spirits which may be in me or around me. Once and for all, I close the door in my life to all occult practices and I command all connected spirits to depart from me now in the name of Jesus. I renounce any and all addiction to drugs and alcohol. I repent for any substance, legal or illegal, that I have ever allowed to keep me bound. I rebuke and call forth the spirit of pharmakia. That spirit that keeps me in addiction and bondage. I call you up and out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be free from every addiction this night. I renounce any connection. Any known, or unknown, known or unknown that I have to the Masonic Lodge. That I, have that I, have to the Masonic Lodge. Lodge. I renounce any secret society oath made by me or my ancestors. I render them powerless through the name of Jesus. I lift myself from every curse, every sickness, and every demon that has resulted from the generational curse of the Masonic Lodge. I renounce every form of witchcraft tonight. All sorcery, all divination. I break all spells and hexes. I repent of all occult involvement, known or unknown, in the name of Jesus. Now, while we're going through this, here's what I need you to do. I'm going to start talking to the spirit of witchcraft. No doubt it's already manifested in some places right now. I want you right now before God to out loud repent and renounce whatever it is that you've been involved in in any sort of witchcraft. If you've gone to psychic readings, you've had psychic prayers, you've had palm reading sessions, tarot card sessions, you burned candles in some cemetery during a seance or playing games like light as a feather, stiff as a board. If you've ever messed with Ouija boards and things like that, even if you were eight, nine, or ten years old, right now, just out loud in the theater, say, God, forgive me for this, and you fill in the blame. Get rid of those yoga mats, and quit messing with healing crystals, and we come against the dream catchers, and every form of wicked, every form of wizards, and magic, and new age, and all crystal balls, just right now, just begin to say it. The Bible says we expel demons, and how we expel them? Just take a couple of good deep breaths. I'm going to talk to that spirit of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I come against every foul spirit of witchcraft in every theater, in every place that this is being viewed right now. Every spirit of witchcraft, up and out, manifest and go. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. We come against every curse of tarot card readings, up and out, in the name of Jesus. We come against every curse of every palm reading session. I break the curse and the soul tie with every medium. I break the curse of every witch. I destroy the works of every witch, every curse. I close every portal of astral projection in the name of Jesus. Come on, witchcraft, out, up and out. We know you're there. Manifest now in the name of Jesus. All sorcery, every spirit of divination, up and out up and out every form of satanic ritual abuse every form of the occult all new age practices angel worship goddess worship every form of witchcraft up and out up and out in the mighty name of jesus just breathe it out tell it to go take authority over it look 
I'm not the one that has to grab the microphone and tell those demons to leave. You've got authority right now. Take authority and say, come up and out, up and out. In Jesus' mighty name, up and out, up and out. Every form of witchcraft, all sorcery, Python spirit, loose them. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Come on, witchcraft. Break, break. Every form of secret societies, up and out. Every spirit from the Masonic Lodge, I disconnect you and I break the soul tie and the generational curse from the spirit of the great architect of the universe. Up and out, up and out, in the mighty name of Jesus. Demon Shabdalon, up and out, up and out. I break every curse of the Masonic Lodge, every curse of sickness, up and out. All witchcraft, break, up and out, in Jesus' name. Come on, witchcraft, up and out. Up and out. All fortune telling. Out. Out. Every Babylonian wind spirit. Hypnosis. Reiki therapy. Up and out. Up and out. Now, folks, look, there's a lot of witchcraft that the church is filled to overflowing with. You just start calling out. You know what you're struggling with. You know what dark entities are in your house. And let me tell you something. May the scales be removed from your eyes tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when you leave this theater, go home. Get a garbage bag. Start emptying your house out from all the new age occult witchcraft and all the crystals and all the foolishness. Get it out of your house. Kundalini spirit, I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. Every Kundalini spirit from yoga, every yoga spirit, Eastern mysticism, Hinduism, up and out. Up and out, up and out, just bring them out, all witchcraft, break, break, we take authority over you right now, every poem reading session, every spirit from burning sage, come out, all sorcery, every voodoo witch doctor, up and out, every voodoo curse, up and out, in the name of Jesus, come out, come out, demon Baphomet, we break your power over this generation, come out, come out in the mighty name of Jesus, all witchcraft, all witchcraft, Spirits from meditation, transcendental meditation, you come out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft, we bind you, we break you in the authority of the name of Jesus. You will leave now. Up and out. All enchantments and spells, come out. Come out. Every spirit from wizards and wicked, come out. Spirits from hexagrams, enneagrams, pentagrams, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit transferred from Halloween, addiction to horror movies, come out. Astrology, every spirit from astrology, signs of the zodiac, come out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, folks, you got to leave that stuff alone. It looks cute on social media, but it's demonism, it's witchcraft. Leave it alone. Signs of the zodiac, up and out, up and out. Now, this is just witchcraft. We could talk about it all night, but we've got to move along and get witchcraft out. we got to break that witchcraft so we can get practical and get you some deliverance and get you some help. So come on, witchcraft, we come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of Israel rebukes you. The blood testifies against you. I want you to say this right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release myself immediately. I release myself immediately. From every evil inheritance. From every evil inheritance. That I have ever received. That I have ever received. From my father and from my mother. From my father and from my mother. I break every generational curse. I break every generational curse. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to say, I forgive. I forgive. Any person. Any who has ever hurt me, ever hurt me. disappointed me, <coughs> abused me, me, divorced me, divorced me. abandoned me, me, molested me, molested me. Mistreated, me. mistreated me, attacked me, attacked me. embarrassed me, embarrassed or, rejected me. or rejected me. By God's grace, By God's and grace. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I forgive them all, I forgive them and all. I forgive them right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly right. what I want you to do right now. Out loud. Let those evil spirits know. You forgive that brother or that sister that molested you. You forgive that father that abandoned you. You forgive that ex-husband, that ex-wife. You forgive that fifth grade teacher that embarrassed you. That pastor, that church that broke your heart and kicked you out. You forgive that boss that fired you. Right now, just begin to say their name out loud. One of them, two of them, ten of them, a hundred of them. Forgive those people that harmed you.
towards you. Forgive them. Forgiveness is not something you offer the person because they are right. You forgive so that you can be right. Forgiveness, as you just saw in the movie, is a gift that you give yourself. Forgive those people right now. Release them. I come against every spirit of unforgiveness in this theater right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of unforgiveness, up and out, up and out. In Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit of bitterness, right now. Every curse of bitterness, right now, up and out. Every spirit causing hatred, vengeance, anger, wrath. Come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. We break your power. We break your authority in the name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of unforgiveness, up and out, up and out. Come on, say their name, say their name. And if they're alive, ask God to bless them. We bless our enemies right now. Every spirit of unforgiveness manifests. Leave now, up and out. We don't tolerate your presence anymore. Out of every man, out of every woman, up and out. Bring them out, folks. Just let them go. Every spirit of unforgiveness, every spirit of bitterness, we break your power right now. We break your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I want you to forgive yourself. That's sometimes the hardest one, sir. That's the hardest one, ma'am. If God can forgive you, if you can release others, then release yourself. Forgive yourself for that addiction that ruined your life. Forgive yourself for those poor decisions, for that divorce, for that bankruptcy. Forgive yourself for rejecting God for so long. And right now, I'm telling you, some of you will start to get free. Now look, not everybody throws up. Not everybody screams. Not everybody throws popcorn all over the place. But some of you are going to feel like a Mack truck just drove right out of your chest. And you're going to sleep tonight like you've not slept in weeks, months, if not years. The number one job of an evil spirit is to take your peace. And some of you have no peace. But tonight, I speak peace over you. I speak a sound mind over you. I speak love over you and I come against every form of unforgiveness every form of bitterness you must go now manifest and leave in the name of Jesus every spirit causing unforgiveness up and out up and out all those spirits of abuse right now in the name of Jesus I come against every spirit of physical abuse mental abuse sexual abuse child abuse emotional abuse Church hurt, religious abuse, every spirit of abuse, up and out, up and out. Now right now is where you're going to have to start forgiving people. Every spirit of molestation, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke you. Come up and out right now. Every spirit of molestation, every curse and spirit of rape, every curse of incest, we break it. Going back on both sides of the family, ten generations back on both sides. Every spirit of incest, every spirit of rape. Every spirit of molestation, all the insecurity that goes with it, come up and out, up and out. Some of you right now, your whole life, you've struggled with abandonment. You've wrecked every relationship and you can't figure out why you were abandoned when you were a child. Come against that spirit of abandonment right now. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of abandonment leave. Every spirit of rejection up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Self-rejection up and out. Self-pity up and out in Jesus' mighty name. Move to these people now. Up and out. Up and out. Let's go. Up and out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of molestation. Every spirit of abuse. Every spirit of rape. I know it's hard to hear, but you've got to let it go. It was a person that did it, but it opened a door for an evil spirit to torment you. And fear has torment. But tonight, I say perfect love cast out fear. I pray over you the love of the Father. I pray over you, Holy Spirit, fill up every temple. Fill up every room of their body right now and of their temple with the love of God. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Burn out all of that hurt. All of that insecurity in Jesus name you leave now every spirit of abuse manifest out 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 I command every evil spirit to leave every single person right this moment up and out up and out no compromise and by the way don't compromise with them you didn't come to see this movie and stay for mass deliverance in these theaters for dignity. You came for deliverance. So don't you worry about what anybody around you thinks. It's time to get free in the name of Jesus. It's time to get free in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of religion, up and out. All denominational spirits, keeping people bound, keeping people in bondage. Every spirit of denomination, every spirit of compromise, every spirit of legalism, come out. Come out. The Antichrist spirit, demonic doctrines, we come against all of them in Jesus' mighty name. All New Age practices, come out, come out. Now look, we've got witchcraft out of the way somewhat. 
We got some religion out of the way, somewhat. Keep calling it out. Get that religion off you. The number one demon needs to be cast out of the church is the demon of religion. It's why some of you watching me right now deny the reality of deliverance ministry because you're under the influence of a demonic doctrine of man-made, manipulated religion. And I say tonight, in Jesus' mighty name, may you be set free by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. But one of the biggest spirits that the church world has to contend with every single day is the spirit of fear. God's not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. And I want you right now, I want you to take authority over fear. Did you know if you Google fear and phobias, there are thousands of phobias? Fear will cause you to do things that are illogical, things that you would never do. You'd be afraid of animals. You're afraid of people. People are afraid of clowns, afraid of the dark. Let's take authority over all fear right now. Fear? In Jesus' name, we renounce you. In Jesus' name, we rebuke you. I come against every form of fear right now. And wherever you are in these theaters viewing this this very moment, call out whatever it is that you have a phobia of. The only healthy fear is a fear of Almighty God. Everything else is demonic. Call it out. Fear of the dark. Up and out. In the name of Jesus. Fear of death. Fear of demons. Fear of deliverance. Fear of divorce. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of the future, fear of bankruptcy, up and out, in the name of Jesus. Every social anxiety, up and out, right now, we command it, in the name of Jesus. Panic attacks, we come against you right now, up and out. I come against every curse of every panic attack, all paranoia. Come on, fear, up and out, take paranoia with you, in the name of Jesus. I speak health and peace over your sleep tonight. I come against every spirit causing nightmares in you and in your children. Right now, in the name of Jesus, nightmares up and out. Every form of witchcraft and sorcery and divination causing nightmares, you must leave now. Every form of fear up and out, up and out. Fear of the apocalypse, fear of anything in life, whatever it is. Fear of spiders, fear of snakes, fear of heights. Fear of the dark, fear of closed places. I come against every phobia right now. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out of every man. Come out of every woman. Fear, we know you are there. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. All fear, up and out. Up and out. Every fear. Every fear. Manifest. Up and out. Up and out. Every spirit of lying and exaggeration. Every lying spirit lying to others and lying to you. Come out. Come on, lying spirit. Up and out. Up and out. All oh, that spirit of shame and guilt. Every spirit of shame and guilt manifest in God right now. You move through these people now. We command it in Jesus' mighty name. Let me tell you something, folks. This is so simple it should never work. But it works because it's simple. It's not man-made. It's not a methodology. It's not manipulation. It's a message. And the message is come out in Jesus' name. There's power, power, wonder-working power in his name. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the awakening that the church has been waiting on for more than 100 years. We want to see people set free right now in these theaters. Get a full freedom. Take a deep breath and tell that devil, get out in the name of Jesus. Come on, fear. Come on, fear. Out, out, out. Every spirit of pride, every hindering spirit, every monitoring spirit, we break you right now. We break your dark assignment. Every monitoring spirit, you go back and you tell your commander you have failed in the name of Jesus. Up and out. Up and out in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit of fear, leave. All spirits of worry, dread, come out. Come out right now. All spirits causing worry, dread sleeplessness, insomnia, all of that guilt and shame. Now look, I don't know what's going on in theaters all over America, but I guarantee you, and some of it's wild, wild west. Some of them just getting filled with peace right now, but I want you to get a full deliverance, but I'm going to tell you a spirit that nobody wants to talk about, but it's the facts. I need it every day. I need it every week in our church. It's called the spirit of grief. And some of you, there was a little something on the inside as soon as I said the word grief. Every spirit of grief right now, I command you to come up 
and out of every individual under the sound of my voice. Grief over the loss of a marriage. Grief over the loss of a pet. Grief over the loss of a child. Grief over the loss of a parent. I come against every form of grief. There is a godly process of grief, but some of you can't get out of the process because an evil spirit of torment has gripped you with grief and you can't even sleep at night. Take authority over it right now. Say grief up and out. Up and out. Every spirit of grief break now. Manifest and go. Get up out of these people. Every spirit of grief. Every spirit of death in the name of Jesus would rebuke you. Spirit of Santeria. We break every generational curse of the spirit of Santeria. Every spirit of death. Every spirit of Moloch. Every spirit of abortion. Out in Jesus' mighty name. We break the enemy's plan of suicide in your family. We break that generational curse. Every spirit of suicide. Out. You can out, out, of their head. out in the name of Jesus. Every tormenting spirit causing suicidal Lies. actions and tendencies to come up and out. Every murderous tormenting Stop. spirit up and out in the mighty name Stop of Jesus. Your days are numbered. You're coming out. We're not compromising with you. This is not a suggestion. It's a command. It's a command under the authority of the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death. Every spirit of centuria, every spirit of torment, every spirit of murder, every spirit of suicide, every spirit of self-harm, every spirit causing cutting, bodily mutilation, we rebuke you in Jesus' name, up and out, up and out right now in the mighty name of Jesus, up and out, every spirit of lust. Every spirit of lust. Now, some of you are going to have to linger around tonight and let some people work with you. But I'm telling you, every spirit of lust, you've got to go right now. Incubus, well, out! Succubus, out! All those perverted dreams you've been having. Tonight, we speak peace over your mind and over your bedroom in Jesus' name. Come on out. Every spirit of pornography. Now, we know that you have a flesh that's wicked all by itself. But if you've done everything you can to crucify your flesh, you still have problems, you don't have flesh trouble, something that's manipulating your flesh. Every spirit of pornographic material and addiction, up and out, up and out. Every spirit of fornication, spirits of masturbation, spirits of divorce. I break the generational curse of divorce in your family right now in Jesus' name. Take authority over it. Every spirit of flirtation in the workplace creeping into your marriage. All spirits of seducing spirits. Spirits of fornication, of up and out, up and out. You can do. spirits of There's inordinate you can do. affection, in the name of Jesus, all spirits of lewdness, come out, all spirits of perversity, in the name of Jesus, up and out, every spirit causing fornication, every spirit causing addiction to pornography, we bind the spirit of lust, come out, we bind the spirit of perversity, come out. No wonder our generation is confused as it is. Every spirit causing gender dysphoria in the name of Jesus, you will come up and out in Jesus' mighty name. I speak boldness over your mind. Boldness over your mind. Every spirit of double-mindedness, come out. Come out, James 1 8, a double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Every spirit of lust confusing the minds of this generation, we rebuke you up and out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Every spirit of lust, every spirit of heaviness, would call it Jesus. Jesus may be gone. Some of you are in this theater right now, and it's the number one thing, it's the most common thing that you struggle with. We call it depression, oppression, affliction, PTSD, anxiety. You know what God calls it? Isaiah 61 4. Put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You know what a spirit is? It's a person without a body. Fight it. Depression is not an it, it's not a thing, it's a person. I come against every spirit of heaviness right now in Jesus' name. Depression, break right now in the name of Jesus. Take authority over it, ma'am. Take authority over it, sir, right now. Say depression, leave in Jesus' name. Heaviness, heaviness, out, out right now. Heaviness, you must leave. We're going to stay here for a minute. Come out, heaviness. Come on. Stop I know you're here. I know you're here. I know you're in the theater right now. Every spirit of oppression, every curse of PTSD, you must come out. You must come out. Every spirit causing someone to feel like an orphan. Orphan spirit, come out. We release the spirit of adoption, whereby we call Abba Father. All abandonment, all rejection, it ends tonight. It ran into your family until it ran into you tonight in this theater. It's done. Out. Tell it to go. Tell it to go. Orphan spirit, bye-bye. Get out in Jesus' name. Rejection, get out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you've got to go. Every spirit causing isolation. 
loneliness, come on, all despair, unworthiness, you've got to come out, you've got to come out, you've got to roll right now in the name of Jesus, every spirit causing madness, schizophrenia, out right now in Jesus' name, I break the medical diagnosis that somebody gave you right now in Jesus' name, we break covenant with it now, every spirit causing madness, Schizophrenia up and out. Hallucinations leave in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Every spirit of infirmity tonight in every theater. And look, you're going to have to take authority over. You take authority over cancer. Take authority over rheumatoid arthritis. Take authority over whatever it is that you struggle with. Come on. Every spirit of infirmity out. 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 Every spirit of mental illness come out in the name of Jesus. We command it in Jesus' name. Up and out. All spirits of heaviness, all spirits of witchcraft. Now all of you workers in there right now working with people, stay at it, stay at it. No, quick, mash the gas, mash the gas, mash the gas. Tell them spirits they got to leave. Every single person under the sound of my voice, you just cry out to God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. And I come against every nefarious plan of the enemy, witchcraft, come out in Jesus mighty name. name of Jesus, come out. And I say tonight to every spirit, come out. Out. In Jesus' name. Come up and out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you leave these people. Father, we're one in one accord, Lord. We ask you that you send your Holy Spirit as a mighty rushing wind, Father. Let the cloven tongues of fire appear above us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let these people be delivered, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen.
up. I'm sure you want to do this. I got like a bashing. Your hair. Where's your coat? Got it. I got like a passion when I was living with mom, and when I was with I was with mom, and I I know when she she was reading me those angel cards, and I I did. I didn't know. I didn't know he was demonic. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. Know, I, didn't I didn't just now realize that it was that that those were tarot cards. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize it until now. I,